Hello everyone, welcome to Dantan Tailoring. I know that sewing needs sometimes might feel a little bit daunting, but I promise you that at the end of this video, you will have a more positive view about sewing needs. And if I fail to do so, please let me know in the comment. So let's go. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Let's understand what is special about knit. It stretches. Different to other fabric construction, like woven, knit fabric imitates the traditional knitting method. Do you remember those cats? Let's take a closer look. A little more, a little more. Pivot, pivot, closer and here. Can you see how the loops are interlocked? I'm highlighting that in two different colors so you can see better, but this is the way knit is constructed with all one yard looping it. Unlike the woven fabric like this linen, when you see it closer, you will see that these are threads that come in vertical and horizontal and interlocking each other. And there are many threads, not one. Can you see the difference? And why the knit naturally stretches more even if it doesn't have any spandex. So I think it's worth clarifying that when you say knit, you are referring to the construction and not the material. Then you will have all sorts of knits. Cotton, alpaca, synthetics, even silk. Most of the knits will be sewn in a pretty similar way, more or less. One of the most important questions is, which kind of knit should I buy? I could say that when you buy knits, you will take in count exactly the same as you are buying any other fabric. The first thing you have to consider is what is the use that you are going to give to your garment. For casual or more sporty clothes, you are going to use mostly cotton lycra. You know, it will depend on what you want to do. Don't feel like you have limitations with the knit because you pretty much can use knit for almost everything. Something important that I should mention is that when you are choosing your knit, you have to check is it two ways stretching or four ways stretching. And as well, depending on the stretching properties of your knit, then you will have to adapt and or choose your patterns. In general, when you make a pattern, you are going to give a little bit of positive ease. That means that you are going to add width and sometimes even a little bit of length just to make the garment comfortable to you. But when you are working on knit, you are going to reduce the size of your pattern so your garment can work in the way it is meant to work. The main difference is that you have to visualize if the material is straight. I mean, you have to see it with your eyes that you are going to work with what you would call the grain, right? That it doesn't insist on needs. With the woven fabric, it's a little bit easier because you always can see the salvage or you can pull a thread to confirm that your fabric is straight. And if you are going to cut bigger pieces, it makes sense to fold the material to cut them. Although I have to say that a lot of tailors prefer to cut the whole pattern with knits because that way you avoid the fabric slippering too much. In my case, I use scissor to cut my knits, but if you are a person that are planning to do many knit garments, it will be a good idea to invest in a rotary cutter. A good one, of course, not this one. This is, this is a cheap one from the dollar store. Another trick that a lot of people use is to spray your fabric with a little bit of hairspray before cutting to reduce these uncomfortable edges rolled. It really works like a charm, but I particularly don't like to be spraying things. I'm just used to the roll edges. Now I'm cutting a top. After you have all your pieces cut, you need to sew them. 
Sewing needs is very easy when you have the right tools. And that, of course, start with the needles. There are plenty of needles to sew different materials, but it come to my mind very fast. The universal needle for general sewing, the leather for leather, and the ballpoint for knits. And of course, I cannot omit how fantastic twin needles are for sewing knits. And if the ballpoint fails, then you have the stretch needle. These are very important for those lycras and sport materials. Let's just take a look at the ballpoint. In the package, it will be written BP, like ballpoint. And I don't know if you can see it, but the point is more rounded, like a ball. Contrary to the leather, for example, that it has like a really sharp point. See? Here you go, you can see. Now I have the three of them. The one in the center is the ball point. Can you see the different points? What happened is that the little ball displays the loops of the knit instead of going through them if it were a little bit sharper. And that's why the sewing will be more smooth. But sometimes even the ball point doesn't work too well and in that case, you might need the super stretch needles. I'm trying here to give you a closer look of the different needles. I think this graphic will show you better. Those differences are really important. And then with the needle, another consideration we need to have is the sizing. They come from more or less size nine to size 18. In general, you are going to choose the size according to the material you have. Try to use a swatch of fabric and sew with it. And be aware that although the general rule is thin needles for thin materials, sometimes you will require to use even for some flowy materials. And look at that. The result is perfect. It's a very nice stitch and it can still stretch. Now let's go to our sewing machine to see which stitches we are going to use. And of course, the number one choice for sewing needs in your domestic sewing machine will be the zigzag stitch. What happened with this stitch is precisely the zigzag will allow the need to stretch Therefore, the thread won't break, unlike the straight stitch. If you want to use the straight stitch, you have to be very careful and you cannot use it for everything. Sometimes you can use it on hems or in general on parts that won't receive any stress. But let's try that. As you can see, this stitch doesn't look great, great, but if I iron, it will be okay. The way I sew it in the normal way, it will allow me to stretch it a little bit, but not really. So in that case, it will require a special thread. And as well, it will be very, very important if you want to use this stretch stitch that you maximize the length of the stitch and pull the material while you are sewing. Let's try that again. You see, now it's better. This is a trick you can use, but if you are using a swimsuit or a leggings, any kind of sporty things that will be stretched out all the time, then I would recommend you to use the triple stretch stitch. It's so straight because it goes back and forth, but in a straight way, you just need to choose S1 for the length of the stitch, and then you just sew. And this stitch is very strong. And as I mentioned before, these threads like Cetaflex or the Maxi Lock stretch or, you know, those filaments makes the seams a little bit more elasticized. And of course, it's very important for me to mention that if you set your domestic serger with the fourth thread, you will be able to close your seam and clean it at the same time. And that, my friend, will really, 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 really save you time. Make sure to set well your machine so your seams looks nice. 
And you see, it looks really good. It will be very secure and very nice. And guys, this is pretty much the basics. I think this is enough information for one video. Let's allow to sync it. And we are going to make a second part of this video with more details. Now is the time for you to write me in the comments if you have a little bit more confidence on sewing knit. And if you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!